Welcome to this new lecture of computer vision. In this lecture, we learn how to find uh, how to find centroid of an image. First of all, import required vectors. Import CV2. Import numpy is a NP. Import matplotlib.py. First of all, load our original image whose center is required to find. Okay. This line of code read our original image image whose name is sing, single dash dot image dot p which is stored on my google drive okay now we show this original image and this line show our original image now we see our this is our this is our original image actually we find its center okay next first we convert our original image into a grayscale image we use cv2 dot cv2 color function to convert our in our RGB image into grayscale image. Okay. Next, now we will find edges of our original image. We use Kenny edge detector function of CV2 to find edges of our gray image. Okay. This is our gray image. This is the minimum threshold and this is the maximum threshold. Okay. Next, calculate the moments of an image. If the moment is the weighted average of all pixel values of an image. Next, calculate the x, comma y coordinate of the centers. Cx, which mean it gives the midpoint or center of an edge along x-axis, and cy means this is determine the center or midpoint of along y-axis and draw a circle at the center of the image. Now we draw circle at the center of our real image using circle function of CV2. Okay, pass our original image. This is the coordinates of circles and this is the color of circle cv2 dot put text image centroid cx minus 2 it's mean we write some text on around the circle or near the circle of an original image this is the location of text and this is the font style and this is the color and this is the depth of our image and then we plot the our original image find its center and write something, write its name centroid. Okay, see the result. Yeah, this is the center of image where we draw a small circle and and centroid. And this is the result of this function put text. Okay, thank you very much. See you in the next lecture.